Hi there, I'm Michael Fudge, and I'm here to give you a quick introduction to Python's Idle. Idle is an integrated development environment. That means you edit, run, and debug your code all from within a single application. The way Idle works is that you'll write code in an editor and then execute it, and it will execute in another window called the interactive window. Idle is a very useful application for writing all sorts of applications. As we saw earlier in the Jupyter Notebook, Jupyter Notebook serves a very specific purpose, whereas Idle is really used by everybody. So it's good to know both of these environments because they're suited for different purposes, but if you just want to do general programming, Idle is the way to go. So let's do a demo. All right, here I am out at the command line, and I'm going to type in Idle to execute it. You should note if you're on a Mac, because Macintosh operating systems already have Python version 2 installed, you're going to need to type in idle3 to get idle to execute and make sure the proper version of idle shows up. After I type in idle, what pops up on my screen is called the Python shell. This is an interactive version of Python, if you will, where you can just type in any kind of Python statement or expressions and they will just run. The interactive interpreter is pretty useful because you can play around with Python and kind of experiment with things, but what you can't do is write a complete program that solves an actual problem in this fashion. It's really just a playground to mess with things. So when you want to write an actual program, you're going to either need to go up to this file menu and do new file or do open. I'm going to open up the lab file right now as an example. Generally, when you're programming in Python, you want to kind of have both windows up at the same time. In the left-hand side, I'm going to write my code, and then when I save my code and execute it, it's going to show up and run here in the interactive window. Let me give you a really quick example. So this simple program will ask me to input my name and then store it in the variable name. Then it will print hello there with a comma and then another space and then it will print my name. So I want to execute this program. First thing I need to do is save it. So I'm going to go up here to the menu and choose file and then save. And then when I want to execute it, I use the run menu, run and then run module right there. And that will execute the program over here and it always says something about restart, and it shows you the file that it's running here in the restart. And now I'm running my program. And then it does what I ask. What's neat about the interactive interpreter is the program's finished, but I want to maybe see what's in this variable name. I could just go over here and do that. It tells me what's in the variable. I can also introduce new things uh, over here and say something like full name is name plus you know, fudge, for example and then full name. I guess my point would be that you can come over here and you can write some code over here on this side and then run it. You might not have the whole problem solved, but you can write some of the problem. Then you can go over here and maybe play around a bit, get an idea of what you should do next, then go over here and write it some more. So that's basically how idle works. It's a pretty simple environment. Again, you have an editor, and then when you save and execute the code, it executes over here in the interactive window. A quick note about how idle handles errors as opposed to Jupyter Notebook. If I were to type in some invalid Python here, like that, and then I save the program, and then try to run it, I'm going to get a message that says invalid syntax, and it seems rather cryptic, but what you want to note is that it does highlight or attempt to highlight the error in your code so that you can kind of figure it out. So there's something wrong with this, right? This is obviously invalid Python. Let me give you a more tangible example where I leave a comma off here, which is pretty common. So now this is an error, and I'm gonna save it, and I'm gonna run it, and then of course I get the ubiquitous invalid syntax. But what I want you to note is that idle is pointing us to right here in name, which usually tells you that you're probably forgetting something around this variable. 
At that point, you're going to have to remember that there needs to be a comma between this thing over here and that thing over there in the print statement. Once you add that comma and then you save it and run it, the program then works as it would. All right, so when you're all finished up with idle, it's really easy to exit. You just close out of the editor portion, exit, and then you're back at the command line.